has been a very difficult time for us. But I want to be clear. I am innocent of these accusations. For 38 years, I have fought with all that I have for equality for our community. I have fought to give voice to those without voice. Now I will fight these accusations with all that I have, but this time my fight will be different. This time I will allow my lawyers to give voice for me. I have a faith that will sustain me. I'm actually going to have to listen to some of those yeah. <laughs> I have a faith that will sustain me as well as faith in Canada's justice system. I really wish I could say more. But everything I have to say will now be said in court. So I know you understand we will just have to leave things there. I truly appreciate the love and the support from everyone. Our church has always been a place of love, compassion, and support. And I ask that you continually pray for healing and to pray for everyone involved. Everyone involved. Thank you. I love you. And now Anne has a statement from the board. This has been a trying and unusual week for our church and our senior pastor, Reverend Brent Fox. The Board of Directors has publicly stated our support of Reverend Fox, who is facing criminal charges for an alleged offense dating back 40 years. It is important for you to know why the Board is supporting Brent. Firstly, in our judicial system, people are innocent until proven otherwise. We have a faith in our justice system, and the place where judgments will be made is in a courtroom where the details of the case will be discussed. More importantly, we support the man who has been an inspirational leader and the rock of our church and our community for 38 years. Reverend Hawks has helped many of us with personal issues and provided guidance and care. He has buried many of our family members with compassion. He has married many of us and baptized our babies with joy. He has built tolerance and trust when it sometimes seemed impossible. I know Red Fox to be a man of the highest integrity and honor. And I can tell you this code of behavior is evident every single day. Together, this congregation has fought against social injustice and promoted the protection of equal human rights and social equality for all. Brent's support of these causes and for each one of us has been unwavering. Time and again, he has stood up for those who are unjustly persecuted. All of this he has done with selflessness and love. Over the past week, we have been blessed with an overwhelming outpouring of support for Brent and our church. These messages of hope, love, and support have been heartening, and we're deeply thankful for everyone who has reached out. As a board, we stand by our pastor for the reasons I've just said. However, in no way should this diminish the feelings of those who have mixed emotions. For those of you who need support during this time, we have a team of our deacons available to you. We are a community of faith and a house of prayer for all people. We believe that we are created in the image of God and all are called 
to be loving, just, and compassionate in every one of our relationships and interactions. We pray for and are emotionally supportive of all people who are affected by this issue, as we have always stood up for the rights of individuals. Our church remains a safe space for all who are in need. Now is the time for prayer and compassion for all. As a church, we still have work to do. Brent is our pastor, and we will do this work together. Let us now continue with our worship service as we honor another justice movement and celebrate Black History Month. Let us enjoy the choir's anthem. Thank you. 